Uh-huh, honey. What you doing in the club on a Thursday? She said she only here for a girl birthday. Champagne was still like Thursday. But you still look Thursday. Welcome to my channel if you're new. If you aren't new then I've just got this massive piece of long hair not in my ponytail. The fuck? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're new my name is Marie. I make mental health videos and this is part for episode two of a four part series. No, four part episode series. Series with four episodes in. Yeah. So it was my birthday on um Saturday and I just thought I'd give something back so after this video there'll be two more videos and it's all about DBT so today we're going to be tackling interpersonal effectiveness so there are four parts of DBT there's distress tolerant emotional regulation what is it called I just said interpersonal effectiveness and mindfulness so I've got um, emotional regulation and mindfulness to go after this so yeah without further ado i think my last video was so long it went down really badly so if you don't like these videos let me know um if you think i should change something of these videos let a girl know um or well a lot of people said it was because the Meghan markle interview was on but yeah i would leave it in an i card uh, just in case you want to watch the first one where I explain a bit more what DBT is and then move on. Before we start, I am not a professional, I'm not a doctor, psychiatrist. I know I look like one. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not trained in anything DBT. I've literally just been a patient who did DBT for a whole year. I did an intensive course. Well, it's, it's kind of intensive. It was three hours of therapy a week, which is a lot. Um, and I did it for a whole year and yeah, I've just got all the resources and I thought that like when I was doing DBT, if someone had like given me a bit of a head start, I would have really appreciated it as well as I know how hard it is to get therapy. So I'm not going to like sit here and be like, just go and get some therapy. Like it's not that easy. Like you can get th therapy, but then wait like 24 months before your first session. Like it's ridiculous. So I'm not saying that I'm gonna like give you therapy, but I'm gonna teach you skills because that's what DBT does. It does teach you skills to how to manage life. Um, and like I said before, I don't think they're even just for mental health, mentally ill people. I think anyone could use these and actually really benefit from them. So yeah, I just thought I would show you some of the skills that I learned, some of the skills that I really liked. <sighs> Breathe. And I think it's a two-way street. I think I'm going to benefit from this too. So it's good. It's good. Yeah, good. Okay, let's get into it. So interpersonal effectiveness. Today we're going to be doing the, what we're going to be doing fast. I think there are loads of acronyms in DBT. So you're going to have to like get used to them. There's like dear man, fast, tip, like there's loads. Um, but in, in DBT, interpersonal effectiveness refers to the skills which help you attend to relationships balance priorities versus demands, balance the wants versus the shoulds, and build a sense of mastery and self-respect. To me, it's all about how you uh, communicate with other people, communicate with what you want, what you don't want, more importantly, and um, how it gives you it gives you a way of just like learning some skills which may be beneficial for you, for anyone even. So to gain our objective, like the objective of interpersonal effectiveness, dis, di, no, interpersonal effectiveness. I was going to say disorder then. I'm just so full of disorders. <laughs> Help. Clarify what we want from the interaction. Be specific as you can. So it's not about being wishy-washy. It's about being like assertive without being angry or too much. It's all about just balancing that out, but still getting your point across. And also identify when, what we need in order to get the results we want. So it's all about learning what do I actually want in life? Because communication with people can be so difficult. And like for me, it's not so... Oh God, nearly, nearly broke the house. Not so much day-to-day uh, -day interpersonal effectiveness that I would need like interpersonal skills. But when I get into arguments, that would be where I really need to... That, like I've noticed I really need to like 
go back and look at my skills because I just I just flip off the handle like I really do I see red and I just I'm horrible like I say horrible things that I don't mean and I need to learn how to not do that because it's not very nice for anyone it's not nice for them it's not nice for me like and I and it just it's just bad bad vibes guys bad vibes there, so there are factors that can get in the way of being effective interpersonally um so like i said before you don't know what you want you can't really decide what you want um you can't it says you can't figure out how to balance your needs versus the other people's needs so it's like you're either all or nothing like i was like that i was very like i hate myself and then i was very selfish it's it's a it was a bleh. your emotions are getting away um so you have the skills you know the skills to do it but you have emotions like anger which get in the way or pride or guilt do you know what i mean like they are all things that can stop you from being effective you forget the long-term goals for the short-term goals so you put immediate urges and wants ahead of your long-term goal the future vanishes from your mind i am so bad for this and it's, it's ironic because like on this sheet if you i'll insert a photo of it on screen if you see like i i doodled over everything because i just i i'm a doodler i doodle over everything doodle 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 but i i i am always looking for that short term release because i know it won't benefit me in the long term but at the, at the time i feel like i need it um so that's one one thing that i definitely need to learn um so there also other people are getting away in you using the skills so you have the skills but people are getting in the way other people are more powerful than you so you don't have so the power dynamic actually affects the way you communicate other people may not do what you want unless you sacrifice your self-respect at, at least a little so there is a triangle which um in interpersonal effectiveness like classes when when i went for, ther for group therapy that we always always um referred back to and so it's a triangle with at the top it has your objective um, so what do you want then it has your self-respect and then it has relationships so self-respect is like maintaining your morals while still getting what you want or saying no because your morals are being tainted and relationships is about being able to talk to someone and communicate with them without breaking the relationship or if they are really toxic cutting off the relationship altogether it's all about finding the balance really between all of these things and um you if you don't you get into a vicious cycle which i've got a sheet for how good does my highlighter look wow um so i'll put this on screen so factors reducing interpersonal effectiveness so the less you know so if you have to, we're at number one we have the lack of skills because we're, we're just learning um so you have then worry thoughts which lead to the more you worry the, the higher your emotions so the more intense your emotions will feel because they're just exasperated really and then it says the more you can't decide then does it not carry on and then oh there we go <laughs> me being stupid can't read a fucking little this whatever you call it triangle bullshit <laughs> triangle circle um and then it will go back to worry thoughts and then you worry more and your emotions will go more and then you get more indecisive so it's all about if you break one of them things if you stop the worry you're no longer going to go on to heightened emotions, which is then not going to go on to your indecision. I think if we refer back to the triangle at the top, you have your objective, which means that you have an acronym called Dear Man, which is a skill. D stands for something E. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, for your self-respect, which is what I thought we were going to do today. because Well, we are going to do today because I thought it might help people more. Um, it really helped me anyway i didn't i never even thought of like how much your morals come into question when you're struggling to communicate and um so that that has fast so that is f-a-s-t and if i'm right relationships is g give g g g g g <laughs> what just happened did i just glitch <laughs> that was so weird um give so g for something i for something you, you know the drill so to keep your self-respect you can use a skill called fast i mean they did cheat a bit not gonna lie to you whoever did dbt did cheat because you put up you put a few um put a few words before before the actual letter i'm just well, i'm not judging no judgment here just telling you that you're cheating <laughs> no i'm joking so just get on with it marie it's be fair then it's like no apologies 
stick to values and be truthful. So when you are being fair to yourself, you, you then feel like you're validating your own feelings as well as theirs because and, when, and then when you don't with no apologies that's so important because I feel like when you're very ill or in a bad mindset you you can really go into this like I don't deserve this um I'm gonna say sorry for even being fucking alive you know like I should never have requested this and it's just telling you that like you are important and like you don't have to apologize for everything because you probably haven't done anything wrong. Apologize for when you've done something wrong and mean it, but when you haven't done anything wrong, when you've just asked a very reasonable question or something, it's fine. Then it's like stick to values. So stick to your own rules. Don't sell out your values or integrity for reasons that aren't very important. Be clear on what you believe in is the moral or valued way of thinking and acting to stick to your guns, which I think is huge because I've done things in the past where I would rationally be like, when I'm in wise mind, if you see my last video, you would know that. Um, when I'm in wise mind, I'd be like, I would never dream of doing that. However, when my emotions were really heightened, when I was really worried, when I didn't have an answer, I would do things that I regret massively. And I would get myself into a place where I didn't recognize who I was and how I sold my soul. It's like it's like selling your soul like for money, but instead you sell your soul uh, because you're struggling and you don't care and you're like, I'm worthless anyway. You're not. Well, you're not. I'm just gonna tell you that now. Um, your morals are so important to have. It's so important to remember what your morals are. And then finally, it's be truthful, which is something that I struggle with. Don't lie, don't act helpless when you're not, and don't exaggerate to make up excuses. Well, I'm a Pisces, <laughs> no, 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 no. but Pisces are known for like um, at playing the victim. I feel like I don't play the victim. I'm, I'm very aware that I did in the past, um, but now, I hate when people say that they're doing things because of something else and it's not uh, I'm not saying it's not valid but I'm just saying it's not it's a it, I don't like it when people use it as a, an easy way out point blank don't like it don't have any sympathy either when it's used that way like if you've done something we need to take responsibility and learn from it so I will put this sheet on my Instagram but it's just like a double-sided worksheet that you can do for self-validation and self-respect so whenever you're practicing self-validation um, skills so you use fast either before you get into a situation or that you know that you may be um, tempted to do something that you normally wouldn't or you do it after where you learn from what you've just done and do it that way so i will put this on um on my instagram and it will just help you like if you wanted to fill it out or just um have a look at it i think it would be very good um it's just trying to like change it's just trying to it says it just says um Fill out the sheet whenever you practice your self-validation skills and whenever you have the opportunity to practice, even if you don't or almost don't do anything to practice. Write on this the sheet if you need more room. <laughs> I did not need to read that out. I've actually got one I made earlier. No, when was this? It had the date on it. It was like the 16th of the 10th, 17. 2017. It's four years ago. So it says, list one self invalidating things and two self validating things. I would love you to all do that in the comments. So mine was, I'm a bird pa person, I'm a bird person, I'm a bird person, um, and I deserve to be punished. But then my other two were, I'm doing well at my job, <laughs> quit it, quit it, and I've come a long way this past year. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. Oh, oh my god, this is tea. I'm gonna have to. Phone Dylan, it says when someone I rekindled a relationship with was talking about someone else. That is about Dylan. Oh my god, I need to ring him. That is so funny. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, I actually wrote that down. Get a grip. <laughs> but you can tell that I'm in love. Right. Oh, you look very attractive. Thank you. 
No, right, okay, so I'm doing my video. Say hi. No, it was in 2018, because that's when I did uh, um, BBT. So, yeah, are you are you a part of my um, self-respect? Oh, okay. Yeah, do you get it? I know, no, but you, that, that just shows how much I liked you. I actually wrote it down in my DBT therapy. Like, Jesus Christ, I need to get a grip. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I put? It said, what is the outcome? And I put, I just accepted it and didn't cat catastrophize. <laughs> so it gives you all of these things that you could have done, like all of them. And I just put, just accepted it and couldn't, didn't catastrophize. <laughs> Bitter. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I'll carry on with this video and I'll face on you later. Okay. Okay. That is so funny. I found that hilarious. Both my dogs. My dog needs to go out. You all know Al. I don't need to refer to him as my dog. It's not like I'm like, oh, Albie needs to go out of the room and it's actually just like my granddad on the floor. Well, I mean, my granddad's dead, but you know. Anyway, so yeah, I will put them on screen. So the fast skill is really, really good for holding yourself to the level that you want to be and I don't know about other people but for me that's a massive part of recovering is finding out what I want and doing the things that I want to do in order to to feel better whether that's eating properly sleeping well um saying no to alcohol or drugs saying yes to more more help uh yes to support like it's it's everything like this and um i think if you try it because what they always said in dbt is like um they said so, they said they had like a little what's it called an anecdote anecdote though <laughs> got there in the end um yeah they give you a little anecdote of like um, if I told you to, well, if for me it was, if I told you to get into a car because I can't drive and you wouldn't be able to, you've got to practice beforehand. So practicing these skills, even when you're not in the situation will mean that when you get to that situation, you will already practice them and know what you wanted to say, which will make it so much easier and you will s keep your self-respect. in need of using the fast skill so i will put that on the screen because i think it's easier to put it on screen because not everyone wants to follow me on instagram because not everyone wants to just see my dog um but i will talk to you all later um i love you guys and stay safe and i'll see you soon